Hmm. You know, I wonder. I should change this. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I need to make a new adventure. But welcome back to the channel. I haven't posted in a while. Uh, one, two, maybe eight months. Not, not too long. Um, but. You guys know this game, or if you don't know this game, oh well. It's Occidental Heroes, a nice little, I don't even really know what it is, but it's a nice little pixelized battle type game of where you have a small party trying to earn a reputation and gold in a newfound land. So, let's start this off. Uh, let's make a company founder. Which, don't know what company is, and uh, it's like a, the party, which everybody consists of. So, let's see. I, wizards are a, a good choice. And if you couldn't tell by the intro, I have a computer now. Uh, as you can see, I believe you can see the mouse on the screen right now. I am currently using an emulator on my computer, and if you don't know what an emulator is, it basically just allows me to play different games off different devices, such as Xbox or Android, for example, onto my computer. So, that's currently what I'm doing. Um, so hopefully all the production qualities, uh, screen recording, all that should just be much, much better. And I'm not going to be using my tablet to edit and record everything. So I do remember, I normally did play a fencer, nimble but vulnerable swordsman. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go fencer again. Now let's figure out a backstory for the founder. Dashing young lieutenant, eager to prove himself outside the confines of army discipline and the training yard. The dashing young lieutenant is ready to leave the comforts of the capital behind him and seek fame across the great western sea. His youth and vigor give him an unmatched drive and will, and will to succeed as an adventurer. Interesting. Adventurous army surgeon. Even after spent ye several... Even... Even after having spent seven, several years amputating limbs and administering gruesome bowel wounds... The adventurous army surgeon yearns for the thrill of danger. He has traded his saws and surgical blades for heavier, more destructive cutting implements and has supplemented his medical training with months of swordsmanship. Lessons. Lessons. All I. Wrong button. There we go. Flamboyant brigand. Not the usual thug that's coming around. Trienta. The flamboyant brigade, brigand is also good at using his wit and charm to get what he wants. Alas, one too many high-profile caper has forced him to set sail to the west and start anew. Free from the persistent and often painful attention of the authorities. Devout warrior monk. The, mil the militant order that brought up the devout warrior monk is the only family he has ever known. The cloistered life came to an abrupt an end when the monastery was destroyed by fire. Oof, tragic backstories, I see. Seeing this as divine intervention, the monk has concluded he should venture out into the world and take a more active part in doing his god's work. Im- that's this is a big one. Im- ooh, ooh. impoverished nobleman. When a noble family falls on hard times, its members often find their educations and talents woefully inadequate for their newly challenging daily lives. Having taken up the gentleman's hobby of fencing at an early age, the, Im the impoverished nobleman has gotten quite competent at, at it has gotten quite competent at it over the years. 
Yeah, that makes sense. So he has decided to offer swordsmanship skills to an adventuring company in return for a share of the loot and a chance to reverse his family's swollen fortunes. So there definitely seems a whole lot, and there seems to be a whole lot more than last time I played. And the ones that were before seemed to be a whole lot more tragic. Because I believe there was like a captain and whatnot. And I don't, I'm obviously not seeing them here, so I don't know what happened to that, but yeah. I think we're going to go as the nobleman though. Seeing as he has years of experience with fencing and... I'm sure that the information he got as noble will have helped in the money type things. So now we gotta figure out the company. A few good men, no. The farting eagles. That's debatable. The stone fangs, the flaming blades, the happy gang, the profane cloaks, the stinky dogs, the black dragons, the bold spears, the jolly race, the sneaky race, ooh, two race, the sneaky arrows. That doesn't even make any sense. The Dark League, the Holy Convention, the Fat Ghosts, the Fancy Cloaks, the Bloody Blades. The Bloody Blades, that's pretty cool. So we're going to go Bloody Blades, I think. Going to have... What if we do, like... This? Oh, wait, okay. Why don't... Oh, I see. So, I mean, it's probably, let's see here, let's get, there was a whole lot to choose from, like, I don't remember there being this much, I really, really don't. Let's get a halberd, and then let's have this, like, a dark red, there we go, and then let's figure out what we want here. Hmm. Let's go with the, where was it? Let's go with the sash. The sash looks good. There we go. Uh, the bloody blades. That's what we are. Choose optional traits. Oh, okay, I think these are just my extra items in the game. I want to play vanilla. I'm not adding anything else. So, that's right. Now I get to choose two companions. A dashing young lieutenant, a grizzled army veteran. Yeah, I remember this being before. I remember Young Lieutenant being a thing before as well. A, j a jilted lover? Okay. A disgraced palace guard. I do remember palace guard. And a civilized native. So, I probably just want a nice... Well-around army. So let's go with the army veteran. Not army, but party. And... Let's go with the civilized native. Yeah, okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. There we go. I heard speaking, it's the Imperial Capital of the Western Provinces, and the principal destination for shipping from the mainland it is ruled by the Vin the Viceroy Gantain the Viceroy, the Viceroy Gantain, who nominally rules over all Imperial possessions on the continent. I cannot talk, and you will learn that throughout this entire series. <laughs> if you're new to the series, because you could probably already tell that from the first time I was doing this. Like all ports, uh, hurt speaking attracts a v v I can't, I can't even say this on a daily basis. V variety? Variety. I normally say like variety or some Variety of businesses and enterprises characters, which together with his relatively recent founding, give a feverish boomtown atmosphere. Ooh. Looking down the busy main street, you could the provincial palace and offer your services. Viceroy, he's not going to listen to me, I remember that. Visit the Silky Siren for some food, drink, and possibly information. Stroll down the harbor side market, look and sell your loot, and buy and travel. Fight pits. Let's go, Silky Siren. The Silky Siren's main clientele. Are the sailors from the town's harbor? The tavern is a rough and rowdy place, and land lovers are viewed with scorn and suspicion. You ask around about dangerous jobs you need to do, ask a member of your party, look for somebody to join party. Go out. Let's find a job. Um, 
how much money do I have? Where do I find this? Uh, yeah, 60 coin. You start a conversation with a farmer living in the area surrounding Alhurt's Beacon, and he tells you about a large bear that has been terrorizing the nearby farms, stealing food, killing livestock, and even attacking people. It's only a matter of time before it kills one of us. Look, you seem capable of putting down this monster, and we need your help. Some other farmers and I have pooled our resources, and we can offer you a 65 coin reward for killing this bear. What do you say? Tell the farmer. You are willing to take on the task and kill the bear that has been attacking the nearby farms. You were just making the conversation. Well, let's let's kill a bear. Bear somewhere in the forest northwest of Hawhurst Beacon. You should search around the area to find it. Making a note of this, you go back to your drinks and start a new job. All right, let's go. Let's go kill a bear. Let's go. Let's go get dad. Halfway through. That's kind of crazy. Kind of quirky. Alright. Um, where was this Okay. Where was this bear? Search for the bear in the forest northwest of oh, Hawthorne Speaking. No, that's that's just that's the wrong way. Northwest, never eat slime worms. There we go. Alright, poop. Untested. Come is dangerous and your party is untested. It might be a good idea to get some experience and earn some coin in the fight pits. Not heard speaking before venturing out to the world proper. Nah, we gotta hunt a bear. Let's hunt a bear. Where are you at? There he is! Bear! Bear hunt. You come upon the black bear, and you were hired to hunt down. Having seen how big it is, you're not surprised the peasants felt they had to hire fighting men instead of handling it themselves. The bear has seen you, but it doesn't seem poised to attack, so you. I won't fly off the bear! Ah, uh, good combat. I remember. I remember all this at this point. Uh, this is the bowman. Attack. Oh, okay, I was gonna say crit chance, maybe? Yeah. This number represents the chance that your party is member, uh, which you have more damage fencers, that's triple critical chance respect. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Um, what's this? Defense is somewhere. Uh, that's I didn't know that existed. So I think we're gonna have him go off to the right there. Archer's going to move up. Get him up there. Boop, bop. Pull him back. Pull him back. Shoot that buyer. Pull him back. Oop, that's not the direction I was hoping he would go. Pull the fencer up a little bit. Shoot that buyer. This is a interesting placement I have myself in here. Uh oh. Sweeping attacks. Fencer like wizard can make sweeping attacks by moving past enemies. He will automatically attack an enemy he passes. This type of fencer like wizard. Oh, for a bit there, I thought there was wizards in the game. I forgot what his name was. <laughs> this type of attack doubles the chance of a critical hit and can sometimes be used to put your party member in an, into an adventurous, adventurous, advantageous position. The direction of this potentially useful attack is indicated by the red arrow. I want to put the fencer in front of the archer, but it's not going to go towards the archer anyway. Yeah. Enemy circuit attack was with an enemy circuit. Some enemies can double in there. Okay, so it's just the same exact thing that happened to me. A bar! Okay. Um. Let's, let's kill this bear. Sweep that bear one more time. Oof, that's real low, but bear's dead. Bear is dead. Alright. Not so hard. The huge beast lies dead. It will no longer be terrorizing any farmers, but you're certain it wasn't the only one in the area. To get your reward, go to the Silky Siren in Alhurst Beacon, which is a town southeast of here. You take a trophy as proof that your job is done and move on. Your party is victorious in combat. You get three cuts of meat from that animal. The wizard has been wounded and loses some of his resolve. Ah! Yeah, that makes sense, I guess.
I don't like it though. Alright. Now we need to go back to Soki Siren. You find the farmer who hired you to kill the bear and show him proof that the deed is done. Oh, great news! The others will be so happy to hear this. He opens his purse and counts out the uh, promised 65 coin. Here is your payment. Thank you for ridding us of this monster. He finishes his drink and goes to tell tell the others of your success. You pocket the reward money and order round of celebration. See if there's anything any more things to do. That's right, well fun. You start a conversation with the farmer living in the area surrounding Alhurt's Beacon, and he tells you about a pack of wolves that would terrorize nearby farms, stealing food, and killing livestock, and even attacking people. It's only a matter of time. Before one of us gets killed, look, you see people, we need your help, and some other farmers will do it. Okay. So, it's a wolf hunt. I've done this before, not too hard. Um, so, let's look for some food. So, yes, we are going there. I got one strength of gold. Get a map. Um, restock on food. Oh, uh, yeah, pay 17 coins for all the food that I need. And good armor and whatnot. You're at the armor stall, browse the food sexually, and uh. Okay, what about the morning, sir? Hmm. Arguably more effective than more minutes. Morning, sir. What does this plus 20% mean? That's just like crit chance damage. I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's look at the other things first. Habergion. 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 A lightly padded male shirt made out of fine steel links to Habergion is the standard armor for auxiliary troops in the Imperial Army. That's some. So I believe that this probably just means plus 20% damage that doesn't die. So let's get let's get the armor. Yeah, okay. So we have armor now. Can we get forward more so? Uh we can. Do I want to? I don't think I do. Although just to figure out what that plus twenty percent means, I'll do. Screw it, why not? Not like I'm gonna die at the first episode, right? Huh? Well, that crook might, if he keeps smacking that wall, he's gonna break his hand off. Goodbye. Alright, let's figure out what we're doing. Uh, let's see in the forest west. Just, just straight west. Okay. Inside we go. Oh. Hmm. There you are. Wow, and the food just dwindles right there. You come upon the pack of wolves you're hired to hunt down, and you're aware of you updated. Not seen place to attack. So I'm buyer. I mean, a couple of wolves. I kill a bear anyway. Buyer. There's a armor. Is this a person? No, that's a person in the morning, so I believe. So, move him up. Yeah, I don't know what that mace did. No. But, I don't know. Whatever. Um, move him up. I hate the woods because it's not open one bit. Which defenser? Yep, one shot. Which defenser in the archer kind of need an open area? Ooh, that was a good hit. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, I get that. This is a bit of a damage, but I don't think we're really gonna have much of an issue in this encounter. Well, the nice fight could have gotten people out. That could hit, but Wizard Prime just got hit. Which isn't too big of an issue in all reality. Not too big of an issue at all. The wolf pack has been dealt with. There will surely be others, but the farmer now has one less thing to worry about. Yep. Yeah. You get five cuts. Not really anything, but oh well. Oh, buyer! Let's kill this buyer. Buyer's gonna die with my hand. I love hunting me some buyer. Alright, so I don't really know what I'm doing with a fencer down there, but I'm just kind of bringing him to the flank of the buyer. 
Um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't want that to be a thing. I'm gonna keep that bear there. Shoot that bear, plunge that buyer, do everything to that buyer. Mm. Shoot that bear, hit that bear. And that should be it. There we go. Yeah, he took a bit of damage there, but okay. Hey, nope, no injuries. Alright, sweet. Okay, now I need to go back to go back. There we go. Go back to Silk Siren, or around, and danger shops. Merchant draws your attention. He is from Ahurt's Beacon, and he tells you that he, that you, tells you he needs you to deliver a parcel. It is just some documents that I need delivered to Bessenberg. It is an arduous journey, and the matter is routine, so I do not need to go myself. As for compensation, you will be paid thirty coins on delivery, which I hope should suffice for such an errand. Especially if you are already planning to travel in that direction. You need not to return here on my account, would you be interested? Sure, go to a new place. Um, so let's get some more food. Not uh, from the circus, sorry. From the harvest side. We saw it. Well, alright, pay 14 gold for that. Not too big an issue. My money is kind of dwindling, but it's not really, it's not doing too bad. What? What happened? What? Where? Did 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 the did the game crash? I bet you're wondering that. Haha. <laughs> no, it's uh, this is the um, ending. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, whenever I was recording, I was recording for like an hour. I didn't actually know that. So I'm cutting the initial recording in half so that you guys aren't seeing through an hour of me playing the same game. Um. So, this episode, obviously, I know, um, the next episode is going to be coming out in a little bit, it's going to be what I didn't record, so it's going to be a b bit funky of an outro here, a bit funky of an intro in the other one, but other than that, it'll be alright. So, in other, word, in other words, guys, I'll see you guys next one, hopefully, episode, I'm going to probably be calling it episode 2, not episode 4, because the first two episodes aren't really going to be exist anymore. Uh, so this is episode one. Next one's gonna be episode two. So I'll see you guys hopefully in episode two. Bye bye. And one thing I did forget to mention: make sure that you join my Discord in the link below so you can hang out with me and other subscribers. Thank you very much.